I didn't know if I was going to get it or not, but I tried. I did what, and I believed in her when I saw her. I thought, oh, I know how she'll be. So you I never changed it. You kept it. The I same. never changed it. No, I kept it the way she was. The way she is. Oh, but you're not blue. Oh dear, Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf. There's a bug in here. I know there's a bug. I can hear it, Papa Smurf. Really, I can. You know, she had a lot of animation, a lot of personality. And she was lovable, and she was a little feisty at times, too. And she loved animals. She had that sad one with the mouse, the poor little mouse. Her mouse died. It was really a beautiful. The kids would cry with it. It was a beautiful scene. Would you think like that, try to get into the mood of uh, the piece? I thought like her, yeah. I thought, you know, I, 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 I felt in the mood whenever I came on. I mean, she felt so real to me because I created her voice so I could feel her emotions. It may sound strange, but it's true. If you do something for a long time and you created it, you begin to feel the emotion, you begin to think like the character and talk like the, it, it takes over. And that's what I tell my students, too. You must lose yourself if you want to be successful in animation and be the character. Because, and then if they don't like what you're doing, it's the character and you can change it. But if it's you, you go home broken hearted. Oh my God, why did I goof up? <laughs>